Destroyer is the second and latest book in the Rewinder series written by Brett Battles, though I still consider his name to be fake. I mean, it's gotta be a pseudonym. It sounds like a superhero or something like that. Evildoers, beware. No one can rattle Brett Battles. <laughs> Destroyer follows the events that happened in Rewinder almost immediately, which actually bothered me a little bit because I liked Rewinder, but I considered it more of a standalone story, one that was actually very interesting. It depicted our vision of the world, our United States of America modern vision of the world to be created as results of a mistake that a time traveler made a few years ago. I thought the idea was simple but brilliant, and uh, I didn't know how they could really follow up with that. I mean, I know the second book was called Destroyer, so does that mean he would destroy what happened in the first book, which would ultimately make the first book more useless or what have you. I didn't want them to ruin what happened in the first book. That's what I worried about the most. And I wasn't disappointed in Destroyer. Destroyer surprised me from the beginning all the way to the end. I'm not exaggerating when I say the last 5% of the book because I was keeping track. The last 5% of the book, I had absolutely no idea how it would end. And that's not normal for a book, and I had no problem with it at all. I kind of liked it. Because a lot can happen each percent of this book because it moves so fast. I didn't know if it would end on a happy note, if this would be a, a two-book series. So I had no idea, and I was happy with how it ended. Later, I did find out that there will be a third book in the series to end the trilogy called Survivor, and that'll be out in March of 2017, so. Destroyer, though. What's it about? Well, in 2015, or the 2015 that Denny created in the first book, aka our 2015, Denny's pretty much living his life, you know, enjoying it. In fact, the only thing he actually uses his time machine for is to go back into time and steal money. Thousands and thousands of money, because no one's gonna miss it because he steals it before it's made, and then it's made, and then it exists. There's like double versions of everything in the world right now, and that means all the double versions of the money are up for grabs, and that's how he makes money. Talk about a good job. But he, he doesn't really want to change anything anymore. He likes this world how it is. He likes the year 2015. That is until he notices something. He notices he's being followed by a mysterious person. A mysterious person that doesn't seem to be a time traveler per se, but he does know about time travel. He knows what his device is called. He knows a little too much than he probably should. And I'm here reading, this guy's probably CIA, he's probably NSA, he's probably something government related. Men in black, I don't know. But that's not the case either. He's just a really weird character throughout almost the first half of the book. You're just wondering how this guy knows what he knows. Who is he? Brett, you do a great job, if you are watching, you do a really good job at introducing this mysterious character. I did complain in the first book about how it's portrayed, the actual time travel and not being able to use all your senses. And that's still true in this book, but as far as character development goes, I think it's a little more stable. I think these are more lovable characters, or love to hateable characters. I think they are molded really well, and I was actually into this book more so than I was Rewinder. And I actually liked Rewinder, so I was actually glad that I got into it. I was worried at first, but that worry went away really quickly. When I was updating my reading progress on Goodreads, if you go back and you look at my updates, you'll notice that I made an update at around 10%, and then again at 75%. I didn't do what I normally do and update every 15% or so. I, uh, I was so sucked into this thing that I kind of forgot to update my progress. It did take me a little bit longer to read than the first book. I think this one took me about three days and the first one took me less than a day, but there's reasons why the first one didn't take me so long. I was trying to get through it so I can get to another book. I still liked it, and I like this as much, especially because I was able to savor the flavor. 
but it's good. Uh, Destroyer is very good. It lives up to the title. I'm actually looking forward to the third book coming in March because the way that this book is set out, it does indeed destroy in a manner of speaking. And it destroys in such a way that I have no idea how Denny's going to fix. No idea. If he's going to fix. If it'll take an entirely different route. Who knows? For some reason, this book is entirely unpredictable all the way up to the last 5%. I had no idea what was going to happen next. And that's good writing in my opinion. Opinion. It's still rushed. It doesn't. It still doesn't take its time to outline really meaningful details or whatnot because it focuses so much on action and making things intense and epic and whatever. It still feels like a movie. All that's true. So far, so good. I rated Destroyer five out of five stars on Goodreads, which means I rated it higher than Rewinder, though I think they're mostly very similar. I, I appreciate and respect the story of Rewinder a lot more probably than Destroyer, but Destroyer was a lot more fun in my opinion, if that makes any sense at all. Once I got to a certain point, I couldn't stop reading. That's not a bad thing. So, if you have the chance, check it out. If you have Kindle Unlimited, it's on there as well. <clears throat> That's how I read it. Join me next week when I review 24 Trial by Fire which is the third and final book in the 24 Live Another Day book trilogy. And, I mean, I've, I've not read very much so far, but it's, I'm worried. <laughs> See you next week. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you have time, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment if you think there's a book I might enjoy or a book you might want me to review. Put it down in the comments, I'll take a look at it, I'll consider it, and uh, I'll see you next week. And remember, if you're bored, read something. Poopy-a-doo.